In this video, we'll be installing an LA main breaker onto an NQ panel board. Let's see what's in the box. The first step in the process is to install the mounting pin. The mounting pin has two holes on each side that align with two holes in the rails of the panel board. Next, we'll remove the lugs on the A, B, and C phase. The next step is to install the hard bus connectors onto the bus bars. These are attached utilizing the hardware from the hardware card. The hardware card also contains the required torque information. Each of the connectors is identified with an X on the top side. The B phase hard bus connector has an insulator. You should snug the connection down, but don't make it completely tight yet. The next step is to install the breaker. The breaker has to be properly prepared in order to go onto a hard bus connector. Many RTI breakers will come with lugs on both ends. This breaker was ordered specifically with landing pads for the hard bus connectors on one end. If you need to remove the lugs, there are instructions in the instruction manual to tell you how to do so. The first step in installing the breaker is to remove the lug cover on the end of the breaker that you're installing to the hard bus connectors. This is held in place with two screws. Next, we're going to slowly align the hard bus connectors with the openings in the breaker. You'll have to slightly lift the breaker to go over the extrusions in the mounting pan. We also need to remove the lug cover from the other end to access the screw holes to mount the breaker. Once the covers are off, you can look through the holes in the breaker to find the extrusions in the mounting pan to align your holes. Secure the breaker to the mounting pan. The next step is to install the screws, the bolts and the washers that hold the hard bus connectors to the breaker. The breaker is a spring washer and it's important to install it correctly so that it compresses when the bolt is tightened.
you can now tighten the bolts that hold the hard bus connectors to the panel board bus bars. Next, we need to torque all the connections per the torque requirements specified on the hardware card and in the instruction bullet. Next, we need to reinstall the lug covers on the breaker. The next step is to install the dead front mounting brackets. The mounting brackets have a small step on the end, and this is designed to install into the slot on the mounting pan as an anti-rotation feature. The next step is to install the main breaker cover on the dead front assembly. To do this, we'll be removing the lug cover from the line end of the panel board. Lastly, we'll install the main breaker label onto the cover for the main breaker. 